Hello and welcome. My name is Robin and you're watching a Robin Reads. Today I want to do another tag uh, and uh, that is called the TBR tag. And there are 12 questions, so yeah, just let's get started. The first question is, how do you keep track of your TBR pal? So I have, I think, two ways I do this. Um, the first one is, of course, Goodreads. I mean, I think everyone uses that. And uh, the second one is just an Excel sheet I have where I uh, put all the books that I own. So I keep track of those. So if I uh, am in a store and want to see if I already have the book, then I have that file with me and it's just nice to have. Uh, so yeah, that's how I track my TBR. Uh, the second question is, is your TBR mostly print or ebook? Um, yeah, I think mostly print, but uh, that is also the library books I have <clears throat> on my TBR and I have a lot of ebooks but they're not really on my TBR it's more of a I could read this if I feel like it <clears throat> kind of TBR so yeah that's uh, basically what it is uh, the third question is how do you determine uh, which book from your TBR to read next so the thing I do every month if as you have seen in my yeah, TBR videos, is that I just look at the things that are going on that month. So for example, a readathon or a read along or something like that. And um, yeah, basically just <clears throat> pick books uh, be because of that. And of course I have also the uh, monthly keyword reading challenge that I do. And a couple of book clubs that I do, uh, which one of them always have has prompts for, um, yeah, just one prompt for the whole month. So, for example, this month it's contemporary April, uh, so we need to read contemporary books. So, if I don't have a lot of other things like readathons, I can just pull from there and read a lot of contemporaries, for example. So, yeah, that's how I pick my TBR and <clears throat> yeah I try to focus more on my own books than on other books so th those are more of my priority so if I need to have uh, find prompts then I will choose from my own books and probably not uh, from my library and uh, the fourth question is a book that's been on your TBR the longest uh, so this is very hard to, yeah, this was very hard to, um, yeah, remember because I have bought books for many years but haven't read them. <laughs> so a lot of my books I have had for like five years and uh, therefore it was pretty hard to, yeah, just have one that has been here for the longest. Uh, the one that is... Yeah, the one that is first on my Goodreads CBR is extremely loud and incredibly close. Um, but the one that I picked is one that I haven't talked about yet. And that is just, I think, pretty interesting. And that is uh, Till We Meet Again by Leslie Pierce. Uh, and this book is very big, so therefore it's probably here for quite some time. Because I don't really read um, that many big books. This one is uh, 500 pages. And um, yeah, just let me read the synopsis so you have an idea of uh, what this book is about. Beth Powell and Susan Wright were best friends, both from troubled families. Their only happy times were the summers they spent together as children, until fate intervened and separated them. It's 29 years later when they meet again. Reclusive Susan is a loner who has shot two people in cold blood. Beth is the lawyer allocated to defend her, yet their friendship still endures, even as the evidence against Susan mounts up, a friendship that must be stronger than the traumas of the, their past, because for one of them there can be no happy ending. So yeah, that really sounds very interesting and 
yeah I'm probably going to read this soon because it's on my on haul project and it just really sounds interesting and yeah I, I can't believe I haven't read this yet but yeah that is uh, one of the books that is on my TBR for the longest then the fifth question is a book that you recently added to your TBR and this one um, I recently added to my physical TBR and that is uh, Call Me By Your Name by Andre Aceman and this book I got from a free little library which I was super excited about because this book um, yeah they don't have at my library and yeah I haven't seen it around so I was super super excited to see this and I just grabbed it I was like yes um, this will be in my book haul probably as well but I won't be talking about it very um, in detail but um, yeah, first of all, I saw this movie because I thought I wouldn't have the chance to read this book, like, ever. And then it just was there. So that was pretty cool. And, yeah, I really liked the movie, so I'm probably going to like the book as well. So this book is about this young man and um, in France. And he lives there with his family. And his father is a professor, I think, and he gets... Uh, his father gets an apprentice and this apprentice is um, another young man but yeah quite some older <laughs> but um, and yeah there starts to uh, yeah form a relationship um, a friendship and maybe even more and yeah I just really like this, the, the movie so I'm probably really going to enjoy this book as well then the sixth uh, question is a book in your TBR strictly because of its beautiful cover. Uh, so I don't do this quite often, but I have done this in the past because in the past I just bought books like crazy and I just picked up everything that sounded or looked interesting. And this one looked interesting. And that is this book. Um, let me look if there is an English one. No, it's... Um, German book um, but yeah it's uh, more like readers of the night or something and it's by Rafik Shaney and I just really really uh, like this cover it's just I don't know all the, these colors and just I really like it and it goes all the way around so yeah it it just looks really nice um i put this also on my on haul project because i've had this one for years and i can't even remember what it's about so yeah <laughs> but uh yeah i just really like this cover so therefore i chose it for this question then the seventh question is a book on your tbr that you never plan on reading so first i thought well there probably isn't a book that i have that i don't plan on reading because that would be like weird um, but I actually think I do because uh, this was a gift from someone but probably not going to read it and that is um, the Holy Bible this is the English edition and uh, first off yeah I'm not religious or anything and uh, I was interested in this um, just because of the history and stuff but right now I am not really because it's just so long and I have read like a couple of pages, probably like two, and I really didn't like it. Um, so this is probably one that I'm not going to read or going to read like far in the future, but I will just keep it just uh, if I feel like it. I am going to read it because it's a very nice copy, I think, so therefore I still have it. Then the eighth question is an unpublished book on your TBR that you're excited for. So I chose a book uh, for this that I have on my NetGalley TBR. Uh, and that is Cat's Cafe by Matt Tarplay. And this is the cover. And yeah, this is, I think, like a comic, just um, a very comedy kind of comic. And yeah, it just looks super, super cute and just super fun and... Yeah, I just, I'm really excited to read this. Um, I didn't mention this one in my NetGalley ARCs um, TBR that I always do. Uh, so therefore I thought, why not mention it here? 
And yeah, I'm just really excited about this one and I'm probably going to read this soon. Then uh, question 9 is a book on your TBR that basically everyone's read but you. And this was a hard one because I don't really have a lot of books that a lot of people read, I think. Uh, I'm more kind of reader that have has uh, yeah books that aren't really that popular. But one of the books that is pretty popular and I haven't read that is um, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Uh, this book... I think a lot of people have read and love the series, but I haven't read it yet because uh, the series isn't finished, I think. If you know if it is, uh, please let me know down below because I might actually just start reading this. And um, yeah, I'm very interested in this one because I saw the movie and it was very, very good. Uh, not totally what I expected, but still pretty good. And yeah, I think a lot of people have already read this. Um, it's about this mysterious island where um, children come that are peculiar so they have like a sort of gift and um, yeah this boy ends up there on that island because his grandfather died and he just wants to uh, know more things about why his grandfather died and what was up with his grandfather and also about this uh, woman he always talks about, Miss Peregrine. And yeah, he just gets on that island and yeah, that's basically what the book is about. Uh, they go on adventures and stuff and they are yeah, just haunted by the, the monster that have killed his grandfather. So yeah, that's what this is about and I'm pretty excited to read this but I will wait until the series is finished. Then the 10th question is a book on your TBR that everyone recommends to you. Uh, so this was also a bit of a hard question because I don't get direct recommendations from people. Um, so I chose a book that uh, has been recommended just generally and also one that I recently bought because I thought that would be a nice thing I know. And that is um, Hatchet by Gary, Gary Paulson. A lot of uh, Canadian booktubers really talk about this book and um, yeah, it really just sounded interesting. I think it is a little bit like Lord of the Flies, which I didn't like, but uh, this one just sounded way more interesting and way more adventurous. And yeah, it just really sounded good. Pretty short as well, so I'm very excited to read this. Then the 11th question is, a book on your TBR uh, you're excited to read? And um, yeah, I chose one that I think I haven't mentioned like a lot. Uh, so, or even <laughs> at all. Uh, but that is The Woman Who Went to Bed for a Year by Sue Townsend. And um, this book I also have had for like many, many years. Um, last year I think I read a book by Sue Townsend and I really really enjoyed it. I actually gave that one 5 stars because it was just really funny and uh, well written. So yeah, every time I come into my room and I see this book and I'm like I really really want to read this. Um, but actually it isn't, it hasn't been on my TBR yet. So this really is a book that I just need to focus on sort for sort of and just uh, read it because yeah it just sounds really uh, cool and um, yeah really nice so looking forward to this one as well so then the last question is how many books are on your tbr shelf so um, i only counted the ones that are most important uh, to me because i have a lot of tbr shelves that are just there uh, because for example uh, i have a lot of free kindle books that i got uh, and i'm like yeah they're not that important to me or my net galley books or stuff like that they're not really uh, on my tbr and i won't prioritize those books uh, so i'm just going to mention two uh, tbr shelves that i have uh, the first one is my owned books but uh, that one doesn't include my series. But my own books, uh, standalones, is on 145. Which is pretty good because I think it was 300 uh, 
like a couple of years ago so I really made a dent in that one so I really really like that and then my library TBR is on 346 books and that's pretty high but that is just because I I just browse on the TBR website uh, library website I mean and I put like every book that sounded interesting on my TBR so um, this one's also a bit you know not really that strict or anything um, so yeah that's how I keep a little bit track of my TBR so yeah those are all the questions uh, for this tag I really hope you enjoyed and let me know if you have done this video uh, if you would like to do this video I will tag you here right now and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe and I will see you Later.